Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Seth Series a video here today bring us the best top three or top four How many are in this video? I think top three uh, regardless text effects for 2021 Where last year we actually did it and you guys really enjoyed the actual sort of ideas that I had for you guys to put forth And just sort of ideas that I got from just generally the trending stuff So hope you guys enjoy of course if you haven't watched that video yet top right if you want to click it love it watch it enjoy it Otherwise you can watch this video sit tight and then watch it after this so enjoy Alright homies, so the first text effect utilizes the cool things you can actually do with perspective. Basically, creating planes in order to actually place your text on. To create it is actually super easy as well. Under filter, you want to go ahead and select vanishing point. In this window, you want to make sure you have the second tool on the far left selected in order to create your perspective. With this tool, for future reference, the backspace key is what you use to delete your perspective path. So, if you want to go ahead and delete things and you make a mistake, all you have to do is press backspace or control Z to actually go backwards. But what you guys want to do is create your first point, then another point that lines up as best as you can right below it. Then at a 30 degree angle, you guys want to create another point that's a little bit further away from the other ones. Then your last point should follow the angle of the previous line, but also make sure you're lining it up straight from the third point. Then after the fourth point, you have your first plane. All you guys have to do now is press C on your keyboard for the plane tool and select the middle anchor point and drag your mouse out in order to add an additional plane. Once you've created your preferred perspective, press OK and then type out your letter or letters. For me, I typed out the letters Y-O. With the text layer, you want to hold control on your keyboard and click the thumbnail of the text layer in order to grab the path. Once your selection pops up, you want to press control C to go ahead and copy the path. Then press control D to deselect the path to get rid of it and also then create a new layer. Afterwards, head back to filter, vanishing point, where you should also find the path that you created still there and saved until you close Photoshop. Then, while you guys are in the window, you guys want to press Ctrl V and you will see that the path that you guys copied will pop up now in your corner. Now you guys can actually take the path and drag it onto the grid where it should apply the actual perspective. You can press Ctrl T to also free transform the path to shrink and rotate it until it fits perfectly to your needs. Once you guys are then done, you want to press OK to then exit and on your new layer you should have the layer with the actual new perspective. You can then later add an additional layer that is clipping mask and pen tool the middle plane out with a darker color to add more depth. It's a super dope text effect that is pretty trendy with poster designs, an overall really cool thing to introduce using the Vanishing Point tool for. Now the next text effect is done in Illustrator where you can actually wrap your text around shapes to create really unique 3D space. Which that can also be used to wrap text around people or just a standout idea in a project. To do it is pretty simple. Start off with typing out what text you want to have wrap around something. The text itself can be included in just one simple plane or you can have it stacked as well. You can also additionally add shapes and things as part of the designs, but for this example, I'm just going to be using text. Once you got your text, you want to open Windows, Symbols, and select your entire text selection and or shapes and drag them into the Symbols tab. Then of course, name your symbol and press OK. Then this is where you want to create any shape that you would like. For me, I'm going to use a rectangle. Then what you want to do is select your shape and go to Effect, 3D, and choose Revolve. Under the Surface tab, choose the option No Shading. Then select the tab Map Art. In this tab, be sure that your preview is on, and under Symbols, choose a symbol that you created. With some shapes, you won't see anything until you actually change the Surface tab, and choose the right surface for the text to actually be on. So, for this rectangle shape, I need it to be on Surface 3 in order to actually get my text to cast around correctly. Where if I was using something like a half circle to make a sphere, I can then stay on Surface Level 1. Also, do not forget to click the Invisible Geometry option to get rid of seeing your shape. Once you guys finish playing with your text and you find the spot that you would like to have it be around, press OK. Where before you want to fully exit, you can now actually rotate the position by selecting this box and moving it around. You can find some honest super dope angles and ideas endlessly with this technique as well. I personally love this so much and I hope you guys find as much hype and appreciation for it as I did because it's honestly literally endlessly cool. All the different types of ideas and things you can do with it, I mean it's just it's one of those situations where if you don't know, you should know. Alright, so the next text trend would actually be something I've seen throughout the years, but never really highlighted. And that's using the brush mix effect that you can use to twirl around your text. So, to get this effect started, you want to make a mesh of colors on your canvas with a soft brush. And for me, I'm also going to go with a more of a rainbow idea. So, quite literally I'm going to be clicking around my canvas with my color scheme of choice, till it looks something like this. When you guys finally get your color mesh, you want to go to your brush tool and choose the drop down mixer brush. With this tool, you want to make sure you have the option Dry Heavy Load setting on, 0% Wet, 100% Load, and 100% Flow. Then under the color swatch, you want to click and choose Clean Brush. 
Now you guys hold on your keyboard and you're also selecting on the mixer brush. You can then click and it'll load the brushes with all of those colors. One thing you want to make sure of is pressing F5 while on Photoshop or open up your brush settings here and under the brush tip shape, make sure your spacing is set to 1%. This will actually help the brush itself not have very jittery lines and make it a lot more smoother. Now that's all really left for you guys is to really just create really fun and cool shapes with a 100% hardness brush on a new layer on whatever size you guys see fit. Keeping in mind as well that this can also be used as a pressure sensitivity if you guys do have a tablet. Once you guys have finished creating your shapes or lines to weave through the text, you want to basically add a layer mask to the actual brush layer. Then you want to select the thumbnail of the text layer while holding control to create a marquee selection. Then select back on the brush layer's layer mask. Then with the layer mask, a black brush will then erase and then white will fill in. So for this part, you want to make sure you're using black to erase parts of the text to make it seem that the brush line itself is going through or around the actual text. It's a super simple yet awesome effect that will always be trending with different colors and applications that can be added to it. You can even use it as an element to texture the canvas itself. It's honestly endless and honestly one of those things that I feel like you guys should definitely know. Okay, so for the last text effect for the video, it isn't necessarily a text effect, but it's a fun idea to incorporate pictures that might have really cool standout colors that you can highlight to a canvas. So more of a food for thought idea that can possibly strike you guys with some inspiration on your future projects. But let's say for my example here, I want to create a project based on a video game character. So I went ahead and chose Yori or however you guys say it from Valorant. Given his color scheme is blue and orange mainly, I went ahead and wrote some text out and clippy masked a picture of the actual character within the text. Then with the picture itself, I can go to filter, camera raw filter, and under color mixer, you can lower the saturation of all colors besides one to negative 100. Then it pretty much leaves you with only parts of the actual picture showing color in the actual text. You can also create a black and white gradient to also fill in spots like faces that you don't necessarily want those highlighted as well. But honestly, this simple effect in combination of space within the actual text with only really showing one or two colors can genuinely create some really awesome effects that can also be used literally anywhere. And for me, letting this be something that sits on the far left or right hand side with the rest of the canvas being that matching color can easily create a really awesome composition that you might have never really thought of before. And with that being said, guys, that is the end of the video here today. So hope you guys learned something, enjoy some stuff, you can take some stuff, and really possibly use them in your next projects for 2021. So, love you guys. Told you guys that are social HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, and enjoy your day.